Ryan Gosling reunited with his The Fall Guy co-star, Emily Blunt, as well as Kate McKinnon on the latest SNL episode, and also broke up with Ken as he hosted for the third time. The Barbie star, 43 who recently made rare comments about his daughters, was also joined by musical guest and country singer Chris Stapleton during the big night. The actor kicked off his opening monologue by stepping out onto the stage and was greeted by loud cheers and applause from the live audience. Ryan expressed his gratitude to be back hosting the sketch comedy series while briefly plugging his upcoming film, The Fall Guy, also starring Emily Blunt. So don't worry, I'm not going to make any jokes about Ken, because it's not funny, he stated. He then gave a big reveal to the crowd and announced that he had broken up with his Barbie character, Ken. Ken and I, we had to break up. We went too deep. And it's over. So I'm not going to talk about it, Gosling said. But after a brief pause, added, I actually am going to talk about it a little bit. You know, when you play a character that hard, that long, just letting go just feels like a breakup. And for processing a breakup, there's really only one thing that can help. The music of the great Taylor Swift. A piano was brought out onto the stage and the star sat on a bench in front of the instrument before belting out an emotional ballad as he reflected on his split from Ken. As he sang, Gosling seemingly performed to the tune of Swift's track title, All Too Well. Some lyrics included, if I said that I was doing fine, you know I'd be lying, because I was just Ken, and now I'm just Ryan. Suddenly, his Fall Guy co-star, Emily Blunt, appeared on the stage beside Ryan, who was also sporting a fuzzy coat that his character had worn in Greta Gerwig's movie. She frustratingly told the actor, we had a whole full game plan. It was going to be epic. I was going to hit you with things. Instead, you're singing about Ken again. Gosling argued, but it's not totally unrelated. I listened to this song in the Fall Guy while thinking about a breakup. I'm doing exactly what we talked about. Blunt then said, you're kidding right now, and I hate that's even a verb. Take the coat off. You're embarrassing yourself. Come on, while also telling him to move on. However, Ryan is unable to get over his breakup and started to break out in song once again. I was there, beach blonde hair, now it's time to wish Ken farewell. Emily disappeared off the stage for a few seconds, but when she returned, she slammed a glass bottle on Gosling's head, causing it to shatter into pieces. What the hell, Emily? The actor exclaimed in shock. She replied, you were a stuntman, and you can take a hit. And look how cool that was, right? He agreed and added that Ken would also think it was cool. Blunt then hit him with a wooden chair and angrily told Ryan that Ken was dead. Gosling humorously retaliated by calling her film, Oppenheimer, an inferior film to Barbie. He added that Barbie won the people's hearts, while Oppenheimer did not. However, when Gosling asked Blunt if she missed Oppenheimer, she then also broke out into an emotional ballad. Ryan joined in on the song and the pair sang about Barbenheimer. In conclusion, both Ryan and Emily said a final farewell to their Barbie and Oppenheimer characters. They blew out a candle, which then lit back up on its own. Gosling said, that's right, because Ken will never die.